Hello and welcome to this week's Wednesday webinar. My name is Molly Ashoff and I'm going to be sharing with you a new feature in Zoom that is called um, Zoom Backgrounds or it's basically a green screen effect within the Zoom application. You have to have a pro account in order for the green screen to work so if you don't have one and you want one just let me know and I will make sure that that happens. I found this background today. I put a little welcome to ESU8 up there. Um, it is a virtual background. I'm going to take it off and I will show you what my background really looks like. In order to get to your virtual backgrounds, if you come down here by the camera, there's this arrow. If you click on the arrow and go to the video settings, up here to the video background, and you can add or remove your own images for your backgrounds. Make sure that if you are finding images on the internet that you make sure that you have the rights to be able to reuse or take your own photographs and pictures to use. All right, I'm going to go to none and show you that I am just uh, in a room. I've got a green, makeshift green screen back here. It's actually just hanging over my DL cart. Um, the lighting is not real great, so I have a couple of extra lights in here because we are. And once again, if I want to get to one of my virtual backgrounds, beside the video camera is the arrow. I click on the arrow, I go to video settings, to the video backgrounds, and I choose one. I could pretend I have a message for students from the North Pole. Hello students, I hope everyone is on their best behavior because Santa is busy with his elves getting ready for Christmas. Um, and the nice thing about having the virtual backgrounds is it adds a little bit more to your presentation or if you're doing a recording or using Zoom to do like a webinar recording, you can um, do that from warm places, night skylines, I could pretend I am in a park sitting on a park bench talking to you. Um, it just adds a lot to your presentation. And also if you have a uh, office that's kind of dreary or drab, you can spice up things with a virtual background like this. Now, in order to turn the settings on, you have to go into your profile or your settings. So I will show you how to do that now. Okay, for part two of using Zoom green screens, you need to go into your profile and click a couple boxes to make sure that it is set up. You have to have a pro account. If you need a pro account, please contact me. So you can go to zoom.us. You will not be able to do this on the free version. So once again, like I said, please contact me and I can get you a pro account. So I'm going to sign in with Google. That's what I use. My one of many accounts. All right, so I am signed in. This is my um, profile or my account preferences. And if I go to my meeting settings, and the check marks means I have these. And what you have to do under the in meeting, you have to edit, click the edit box, and right here you need to check the box for virtual background. This will allow you to upload um, photographs, JPEGs, in order to have that green screen effect in the virtual background. You really do need a green background um, to work best. So if you have green material or true green screen room or green screen cloth, that works best. Once you've clicked the virtual background, go ahead and save your changes. And then you can go into a meeting and you'll have that virtual background. From here, I can host a meeting. There I am with my background again. And if I click to choose my video, background. Here I could begin with a snowman. And I just want to thank you. If you have any questions on Zoom or you would like an account or you want to know some of the other features of Zoom, 
please let me know. I'm happy to help you out with that. Have a Merry Christmas.